What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. You've seen the call and you've seen the indebted kindness, but today I would like to introduce you to a new rocket sidearm that is taking Destiny 2 by storm. The Aberrant Action is the new solar rocket sidearm, and it might just be the most powerful legendary weapon currently available. All three rocket sidearms are incredibly overpowered, with great combinations of perks, but the Aberrant Action offers a benefit that can't be matched by the other rocket sidearms. The Aberrant Action can be obtained through the new seasonal content, so you'll be able to get it by completing any of the Echo's associated activities. You'll also be able to focus this weapon through Failsafe at the helm, but that's once you've unlocked her Tier 2 weapon focusing upgrade. And once you've collected 5 red borders, you'll even be able to craft this weapon. Not only is this one of the most powerful legendary weapons in Destiny, but it's one of the most unique legendary weapons because it has an interactive frame. If you've noticed, it has these dampener flaps that open up from the top whenever you aim down sights. That's a really cool feature to be added into a legendary weapon, something you would normally only see on exotics. In almost every single way, this rocket sidearm is built just like the Call and Indebted Kindness, but it offers a unique mix of weapon perks that make this a much more dominating weapon. It also features the Radiolarian Transposer Origin Trait, so when we do defeat enemies with this weapon, those enemies will burst into a pool of Radiolarian energy, which is going to cause damage to nearby enemies, and with a Logic Reductor Artifact mod, we can increase the effects of this Origin Trait. This added area damage gives this weapon a huge advantage towards crowd control. Rocket sidearms are naturally great with ammo economy, making them perfect to use with double special loadouts. The only drawback to this one is that it does not include lead from gold, so you won't have as much freedom with ammo as you would with the call or indebted kindness. With that said, the aberrant action does offer traits like field prep, which will increase this weapon's reserves. And if you're hard pressed on ammo, you could always use the special finisher class item mod. The Aberrant Action has damn near identical base stats as the other rocket sidearms, and for the most part, it feels just as smooth and just as responsive as the others. It has almost the same barrel and magazine options, with just a few slight exceptions. You've got great options like Linear Compensator or Quick Launch that can be paired up with either High Explosive Ordnance or High Velocity Rounds. I prefer High Explosive Ordnance because it will increase the blast radius of each projectile, but having increased velocity will definitely help. High Explosive Ordnance will decrease our magazine size, but by using a backup mag mod, we can bring it back up to 12. When it comes to this weapon's third column traits, we've got quite the lineup. We have Strategist and Pugilist, and either of these would pair up really nicely with Demolitionist. This would give you some incredible ability regeneration, offering you bonus melee or class ability energy right alongside bonus grenade energy. But if these perks were to be combined with Golden Tricorn, we'd have bonus ability regeneration and a bonus in weapon damage by as much as 50%. We also have Ambitious Assassin, which will overflow the magazine to as many as 25 rounds. That can equate out to be a lot of sustained damage without ever having to reload and it would pair up wonderfully with 4th column damage perks like Swashbuckler, Golden Tricorn, and Harmony. It would also pair up with Incandescent, but we'll talk here soon about another 3rd column perk that will be a much better fit with Incandescent. Beacon Rounds is also an available 3rd column option, and I do see the appeal of this, but I find it to be a much less beneficial trait. The big standout perk from the 3rd column is Heal Clip, and this provides us and allies with Cure whenever we reload this weapon after a final blow. That's going to be a two stack of Cure, which will fully restore our health, and when paired up with Incandescent, we'll have a much easier time at triggering Heal Clip. Incandescent will cause Scorch to be spread to nearby enemies after each and every final blow. This can spread across a large group of enemies, and once those stacks of Scorch start building up, those enemies will start to ignite. Enemies defeated by Scorch, Ignitions, or even the Radiolarian pools will be able to set off Heal Clip. 
One of the biggest drawbacks to running a rocket sidearm is the potential for self damage, but since we'll be able to instantly restore our health, it's going to completely remove that worry, as it gives us a reliable source of health recovery which will come in handy in in-game content. Incandescent and Heal Clip is by far the most effective combination that this weapon offers, and it's most definitely a must-have and must-craft god roll. But there's also Reverberation that drops in the fourth column, and I'm not saying that this is better than Incandescent, but it does offer some interesting benefits that will pair up with Ambitious Assassin or Heal Clip. I like to think of this as kinetic tremors but for rocket sidearms because after each final blow you'll gain a stacking bonus to the size of the detonation blast of each projectile. This increases this weapon's blast radius while this perk is active, allowing it to hit more targets and cause more damage to a more spread out area. It's a pretty fun perk to use but incandescent is just too good to pass up on. The Scorch and Ignitions created by this weapon can be improved upon with the use of Ember of Ashes and Ember of Char, which are Solar class fragments. The Ignitions can also be upgraded with the use of the Facet of Ruin Prismatic Fragment, but the Solar Fragments will be much more effective. And that's the big difference maker in choosing Incandescent over top of Reverberation or Golden Tricorn. And there's also the Solar Fulmination Artifact mod which is now available, and that has a direct impact on the power of all of our Solar Ignitions, which in turn is going to improve the performance of the Aberrant Action, because this mod increases the size and damage of Ignitions, and it will have a more substantial impact when used with Solar Builds that are using Ember of Char. The Indebted Kindness and the Call are still amazing rocket sidearms, but with vastly improved crowd control abilities, plus the added benefit of healing ourselves, the Aberrant Action has just become the most powerful rocket sidearm, and quite possibly the best legendary special weapon in all of Destiny. So this is most definitely a weapon that you'll need to get and craft as soon as possible. And with that said, I wish you all the best and luck out there. Let me know your thoughts on the Aberrant Action, the new Echoes content, and the current State of Destiny. Let us know down in the comments. If you're in need of a good build to go with the Aberrant Action, then be sure to check out my Mobilitics link down in the description, where you'll find a ton of great endgame PvE builds. If you're a new Light Guardian, just starting your journey, or a battle-hardened veteran, just looking for a new place to call home, then be sure to check out the Discord link that's also down in the description, and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. And until next time Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.